Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rex for here, and welcome to another basic introduction video. This time we're going to be going over Notepad, some very simple stuff on Notepad. And this program isn't really going to be as big as some of the other videos that I've done on the uh, basic introduction series, because Notepad really isn't a huge program. There is a lot to do in it, but it's not really that vast as some of the other programs that we've gone over before. So, with that in mind, let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so let's start off again like we always do with the navigation menu. We're going to start off here with the file menu. We have new, open, save, save as, page setup, print, and exit, which as, or exit excuse me, is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not really going to be going over that. But uh, new, open, save, save as, um, those are all pretty self-explanatory as well, but I will get into something special with the save as in a little bit here. Uh, page setup, let's go and click on that see what that has to offer us. Uh, these are basically just our print settings, so there's not really a whole lot you need to really mess with here unless you actually plan to like print your document so um, you can kind of I guess mess around with this a little bit if you're planning to print stuff uh, but for now I'm just gonna be going over notepad itself and not necessarily the page setup for print so I'm gonna go and cancel that uh, let's see what else we have over here that is it for the file menu actually not too large as some of the other programs we've gone over um, undo that's pretty self-explanatory if we write something here like say hello we can obviously go to edit and hit undo and excuse me that was a little test that I did earlier um, so kinda of forget about that um, let's see here another thing that I really want to kinda of go over um, before I continue is we have these nice little shortcut keys next to all the uh, options so if you guys want to go ahead and instead of either going up to this navigation menu and clicking all the time um, you can instead go ahead and on your keyboard just do these simple shortcuts and that will do the same exact thing as some of these things that are doing um, up here so below this we have a cut copy paste as well as a delete uh, pretty self-explanatory I mean it's pretty simple stuff we type out something like again uh, actually let's type out something like test and we highlight it and go to our edit and go to either cut copy um, or well I guess if we go copy we can go over here and just go paste and this is pretty simple stuff so I mean I'm sure you guys already know what this does so I'm not just gonna bother going over the rest of it but that's just what that does just in case some of you guys are wondering if it's like a little different notepad or whatnot uh, let's see we also have a find a find a next a replace and a go to these are really nifty and these are actually kind of um universal between programs as well as even the internet um, if we write out something like say uh, I don't know a whole bunch of nonsense right here and then we type out the word hello right about there and then more nonsense somewhere just kind of pretend that there's this nonsense is random text here uh, go ahead and go to format or oops, excuse me edit and then go to find and let's say you want to find the word hello so we go ahead and type out hello and we can either go up or down uh, if you have a lot of text here you guys will find out what that means later um, but if we go ahead and hit find next cannot find hello hang on a sec match case find next cannot find hello wait did I type that right H E L L O. Oh, okay. You know what? Hang on. Put a space between that there. All right. Let's say there's some other spaces too as well. All right. So we go to edit and find hello. Cannot find hello. That is very odd. Oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. All right, excuse me. So I guess apparently, wow, it's been a little while since I've actually used this for text-based things. So pretty much what you want to do is, depending on where the word that you're trying to find is in your little sentence here or whatever, or in your text, you want to either go up or down for the direction of the text. And for my case, um, it's up. If I go find next, obviously it already found it because it's highlighting it. But if we go, click off that, hit Control F for the same thing again. Hit find next. Car. There we go. All right, now hit up to uh, kind of change the uh, how that's finding that there. We find the word hello. So anyway, cancel that. So that's pretty much how that works. You can also go find next and replace the word. So if we found the word hello and we want to replace it with, um, let's see, with test, then we go replace, and there we go. Obviously, it cannot find because we already uh, replaced it, but that's kind of how that works as well. All right, let's go and exit out of that. And let's see, go to, um, I don't believe we have anything that allows us to do that yet. Um, later on, the more text you put in, the more uh, different symbols and stuff you put in, um, that option will become available. But for now, it's not available because we don't have anything that will actually trigger it. Uh, select all, control A for the shortcut. Obviously, it does what it says, selects all the text, which you can then backspace it to get rid of it, or control Z to undo it and get it all back, stuff like that. Uh, time date. 
Um, basically, it just shows the time and the date as to opposed to your computer um, at the end of the text. These can be used for like logs and stuff. It's pretty nifty in that respect. Uh, let's see, format. So we have two options here, the font and word wrap. Basically, the font is just kind of your own personal preference. Uh, it just changes the font of all your uh, kind of text that you put out there. Currently, I just have mine on default font, so you can, of course, change this to whatever you want. Um, and if you want to actually change your font and then go back to default later on, there's actually not an option to do that. So just, <clears throat> excuse me, keep that in mind. At least it's not as far as I know. Um, let's see, so word wrap, um, word wrap is kind of weird, I guess, because it really depends on how big your, uh, your window is for notepad. So let's say you go all the way over here to the end of the screen when it's in full screen for notepad, like mine is currently, and then press, like, something again. It will always, or it will automatically carry all of that text over to the next screen. However, if you minimize this, it will be a little bit different because there's going to be two ends to the screen. So you can kind of mess around with that a little bit as well. Control Z to undo that. Uh, actually, never mind. Okay, I just realized I had that all the way down there. So, let's go ahead and go to View, uh, Status Bar. We can't really access that now. This is kind of like the go-to uh, back in the Edit menu. So, you know, it's kind of the same thing a little bit. Um, so, we can't really access as in that we can't really access that right now. Uh, help, we have two options here, which is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just going to click on them anyway. View Help uh, is just kind of the online support thing um, for... Uh, notepad, basically kind of like the guide here of different things that you could do. I'm going to go and exit out of that for now. And about notepad, just your central or simple general information about the program. Okay, so now that we've got that over with, I just want to go over one more thing here in Notepad. Um, besides just like writing notes like, hello, my name is Rex Free, and, ah, and these, ah, these are my notes not notes <laughs> little smiley face there um, you can also do some other neat things such as making text-based games building websites and a couple other neat things now how you guys do this is if you go to file and if you just go to save like let's say uh, let's do some simple HTML here uh, let's go something like do, 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 do. Uh, let's just do some simple tags let's do a head tag a oops, oops not doing that right am I alright let's go head and let's go. I don't actually think you need to put these here, but um, oh wait, never mind, never mind. Okay, head, body, and let's just kind of keep it there for now. And then obviously we're going to close those off. So we go forward slash head. All right, and we go do, 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 do forward slash body. There we go. All right, so let's say we have for those of you guys who don't know what HTML is, this is basically some uh, very simple tags that you would use to kind of enclose your document and build your website in, um, at least as HTML is concerned. So basically, let's say we want to save this as a website instead of a just text-based document. So what we go and do is go file, save as. And I'm at my desktop here, which is nice. So you'll notice as soon as you go to save as, you automatically get a .txt as your default file extension. Now, file extensions are the most important thing in Notepad. File extensions are what are going to determine um, what your document is going to be. So right now, if we were to save this, it would only save as a text-based document. It would only be able to be uh, readable by these little text standards. So it'd basically be like reading a paragraph or a document um, that's only words. Now, if we wanted to make this into a website, we'd go ahead and name it something like um, let's see test site dot html now you obviously don't have to name it test site but the most important thing that you want to do is name it dot html and that will automatically make it a website document so or an html document and these little things here these encodings uh, usually you want to just kind of keep it how it is right now um, there are some few cases where you will want to change it uh, because sometimes it will be something like a unicode or whatever but for the most part uh, you just want to keep it an ANSI and just go ahead and hit save all right, now if we go to our browser, we go to documents, we go to desktop, uh, we look around for, let me just go ahead and search it here, test, uh, do site, we double click, here we go. Our document automatically opens up in our little uh, little file or little default uh, not file browser um, website browser and there's nothing here because obviously I haven't put anything in here yet but that's the basics of how to make a website and at least how to save um, your document as a website uh, kind of thing you could also do a lot of other stuff in here as well as I mentioned text-based games uh, you could just go ahead and save it as a uh, dot let's see test ah test game da -da -da. 
Okay, dot .bat for a dot .batch file. Now, I'm not going to save it right now because this coding right here isn't any batch code, so the file wouldn't really understand uh, what all this stuff is anyway, but I will tell you that it will open up in your CMD uh, file and kind of just run like that. So anyway, guys, that is a really simple introduction, a uh, basic introduction, I guess, on Notepad. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys get a better leg up in the program. And once again, this has been Rex Furry with another video. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe in the video. You guys all know the current stuff and uh, until next video guys it's been Rex Furry again and I'll see you all next video